What is going on everybody? Welcome back to a new series. I think I tried as India before. I don't remember if I posted it or not. It didn't go well, but as you can see we're doing India. Civ 6 TSL. I made sure Portugal wasn't in the game. I 100% I, they're, they're not going to be OP winning every category with their like 2,000 gold per turn after about turn 100. It's fine. <laughs> we fixed that. They're not here. Um, but yeah, we're playing as India. I think I did it before, like I said, but I may have... I think I died, so... That's always a positive start. Um, CF5, something is not right. Like, I don't know if it's on my computer, if it's um, one of the mods. But, you know, I, I tried another AI game with three mods. And the in-game editor was one of them, which... Can't do an AI battle without one, so that that's a big one, if it's that one. The Info Addict was another one, which again... I don't know if it's broken, but it, that, it could be that one. I, I, um could be but i don't know and then the third one was the aggressive and expansive ai so that's really limited we've used them in pretty much every game ever and it's either one of those three or the game fundamentally itself i mean it's 10 years old i don't know maybe it's struggling but that was on a vanilla like you know just 10 sieves on a random map not working so something is very wrong there i don't have time to like fix that before i go away so it's just gonna have to be let's plays of other games which is fine it's fun um it's terrible for the views side of things but you know for, for me I, I can have fun with it it's arguably easier um, AI only it's not that they're it's hard to record lots of them in a row because you're not actually doing anything right it's episode one's very exciting and then you get it sort of slows down a bit and it can, it can be kind of hard to record loads in a row let's plays so you're kind of always active it's a bit easier to do stuff but we're playing as Gandhi's India because why not I think last time I tried the other one so it's a good switch um, but here we go. So we get faith for every sieve that we have met that has founded a religion and is not at war. Okay. Opposing sieves receive double war wariness for fighting against Gandhi. Okay, so avoid war. Sound, sounds like my usual strategy, to be honest. But most of the time. It depends. Um, but there we go. And then Dharma. Receive follower belief bonuses in a city from each religion that has at least one follower. Cities gain an amenity for every religion with at least one follower. Missionaries have two spreads. Basically, let's get a strong religion. I think that's a lot of words there, but we just get a strong religion. It will all work out. Um, or even if we don't, can't get our own, you know, let someone else's be in a city. The Varu is a... Minus five. Oh, enemies get for minus five combat strength. I was like, what kind of unit unit is this? <laughs> Reduced combat strength, but no, it's a cavalry unit there. And then we also have the step well, which gives food, housing, and faith, and more extra available if we build it in the right place, which is what we like to see. But yeah, that's. Um, I don't know where to explore sometimes on these games because, of course, I sort of know what the map looks like, and usually that's why I go for the monument first over the scout. And what is this giant person's head, and why are you here? Is that new? I haven't played Civ 6 in a while, maybe that's always there. But let's get the free food worked in these early turns. That might hamper our production a bit, but we'll grow Delhi quickly. And, you know, Delhi should be a big city. We are India, after all. And then tech tree-wise, let's go straight down the astrology path. I think I should be able to find a natural wonder, actually, if I go north to boost that. So that should be a priority. Change of direction for this warrior. And yeah, there should be Persia to our west and Vietnam to our east. But apart from that, I think we're fairly fairly open to the subcontinent. If we're sort of careful, Delhi's borders should prevent Persia getting too close. And then, yeah, we just need to make sure we make, don't let Vietnam come in and steal away a load of territory. But there's Mount Everest, which boosts astrology for us. Nice and early. That is lovely. And that should help us. It is Prince difficulty, so hopefully I do actually get a religion. We'll just have to rush the religion path. We'll have to rush this holy site, I think. That will be the ideal idea. And let's see what this tribal village... I turn barbarians off. They just get annoying on big maps. And we get a free scout, which is actually really good. They can head off east. That's, that's great for us, actually. Really happy with that. Thank you. And that saves building one. Let's explore the subcontinent while we're here. We don't want to miss out on any good early settling spots. If we don't have to. And yeah, let's, let's try have a good game. Let's try have a good, good, fun game as India. Again, I think I've mentioned this in some of the previous videos, but I'm, I'm going to be recording loads in advance before I go on holiday. Or try to, 
if, if, if games keep wanna crash on keep wanting to crash on me it looks like you might not be getting anything but hopefully if things can start going well from this point forward then uh, there's hope at least that you'll get yeah, but what I'm trying to say is I may not be able to respond to comments like on the later episodes. Like, if you tell me I've done something bad, I'm afraid it's kind of... We're going to have to live with it. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to change it. I'm really sorry, but I'll see. That's what I have to do. I have to make sort of 10 days worth for when I'm on holiday. I have other stuff. I think my graduation is like the day before I go on holiday. So then I'm away for two days before I go on holiday. So it's just... All stacks up, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, what? actual resources do we have here truffles are the only immediate resource but it also requires irrigation yeah let's get ourselves animal husbandry i think instead come back this way we want to meet persia ideally but the, are the warriors down here at least we're going to grab get hold of this and that boosts archery that's very nice and we have met persia hello it's an honor to meet you I feel like we should try and befriend them. That doesn't look the easiest place to go and attack, you know, through the mountains, lakes on either side. So um, I'm going to go ahead and send him a little delegation too, which is something I always forget to do. So let's try and make some friends with Persia. We didn't send one to Georgia. I'm not too worried about them further up to the north. I haven't played this game in a while, so this is going to be fun. Right, foreign trade is boosted already, so start there and let's go with there's no barbarian so i'm going to take the recon units and then faith and gold help us get off to a good start on our quest for a religion as we meet vietnam as well be less friendly with them they're less less immediately threatening i think is the right way to describe it Need to do some tile management actually. Hang on. Thank you for your delegation. Right, let's see. Let's build holy site. Two for three. Okay, let's buy that. Go for the three faith early on. That should give us a good chance. Let's grab that. Make sure that's worked. And yeah, let's work that one because that will give us some early production. Which we do need. We can't live without it. We need to get some production in as well, so I'm happy with that. Oh no, I don't want to go that way, but never mind. And we should avoid the Dark Age. I hate ages. We don't have the dramatic ones on, so it's not too bad, but it's fun. Coming back to this game, of course. <laughs> what more could we want? Animal husbandry. Okay, that's done research now let's get pottery out of the way as well it's an early one a second delegation vietnam wants to be friends with us don't they we have a bit of money so i'm gonna go ahead and send them one back you know they're not so close that it's terrifying so we can deal with that scout warrior slinger let's buy an early slinger and just assert our dominance on the map a little bit more maybe go keep an eye on if vietnam's sending any settlers our way for example Tbilisi seems much further north than it should be, but then that might be because of the Ottomans, wherever they spawned. Either way, yeah, we'll have the warrior come over here, and then this, this, you go and keep an eye, you know, just see if any Vietnamese settlers turn up, and that'll be kind of my get a move on George, start building some more settlers kind of warning. Foreign trade, right, production towards, you yeah, know, let's leave that, let's leave it as it is for now. I really want a religion. If we mess this up, I'm going to be so annoyed. <laughs> I just press next turn, but cool. Ask me again. Thank you, game. Oh, we're north of. Okay. I did not excite. <laughs> I didn't think we were there for some reason. I was very confused. Yeah, I guess the Ottomans just pushed Georgia north a bit. Which is fine. Doesn't really affect us too much in the early game, at least. Here we go. This is where we're looking. Just keep an eye on it. We don't want Vietnam forward settling. I mean, if we could cut them off with a city, say, here, where there's a lot of rice, diamonds in the foothills of the Himalayas as well. Maybe grab some of this faith. 
that could be really good for an early settling spot. And I do see a Vietnamese city there, so they're already relatively close. Let's go ahead and get these are boosted. Farmer resource, found city on coast. I'm going to do mining. Um, we'll see. We probably do need to get irrigation. But yeah, we'll try and get access to some stuff first. Okay, Delhi, what are you working now with that extra guy? Again, you're working that. That's good. That's why we're making so much money. <laughs> Six gold from tile improvements is very nice early on. And there is Poland. Uh, Russia is supposed to be here. I'm 95% sure they should be here. don't know exactly where they've gone, but there you go. Either way, we get the three era score for that holy site, which is fantastic. And here, okay, they have a settler, so yeah, we need to build one. ASAP, and I made oh, 16 turns. I caramba. Okay, let's turn that off and stack that on. Is that going to knock some time off? We need that much quicker than 16 turns. That's outrageous. That is terrible. I don't think we can wait that long um, and hold them off. Okay, Russia is all the way up there for some reason. I don't know. Whatever. Weird, weird spawn points today. Alright, we got it down to 11 turns. There they are. So we got it down to 11 because one's already passed. So that's good. That's not bad. Trade delegation from Russia. Lovely. Fortify. Come over. Good, good, good. Okay. We got this. We got this. We're going to be fine. No panicking. <laughs> it's early. We're all good. We've got a Pantheon up and running, so that's what we wanted. There's a lot of options, actually, which is probably a good sign. Amenities and housing from holy sites adjacent to a river. I don't think this one is, is it? It's close. But, oh, no, it, it, there is a river here. Okay, so that one would count. Production towards early game wonders, great people points, plus one from great profit. This would help us get the great profit, to be fair. If we just cut this, um, that could be a good way to go. Two production from marsh, oases, and desert floodplains. What do we have a lot of? What is our terrain? It's, hot. it's so annoying, it'll go sort of dark again. Mainly just forest, it's a bit of jungle. Nothing crazy. That's a river. There's some floodplains out this way, but we don't want to base our whole religion on that. Even if it's only early. Marsh Oasis. There's a floodplain. No, we don't really want that one. Production from fishing boats. I mean, there's a lot of fishing boat opportunities around just India, so that may not be the worst idea. Culture from pastures. Food and production from camps could be good. We have elephants. Is that truffles? It's not really, it's just one, isn't it? Two faith from quarries, mines over luxury and bonus resources. If we're going for a religious game, I feel like we should go for one that stacks our faith, ideally. Is there still that one that gives you a free settler? Is that a thing? I feel like that is a thing, isn't it? Might not be the worst idea. Faith from woods, faith from desert, faith from fishing boats. That might be a good one. Fissures and volcanic soil. I feel like that is just never useful. I haven't seen a map that that's... Unless it, I guess it's one of the settings, but... I've never seen a map that's that volcanic. Mines on luxury and bonus resort. That's only really the gems or diamonds out that way. Not much else again. This is tough. I'm going to take Divine Spark. Let's just try and get ourselves the great people. Um, two great, I can't even pick this yet, so that's that's solid. That's what we needed, but okay. When we, when we get there that far, we will pick that one. How do we get there? We need to get to, where do we need to get to to pick that? We need to get to political philosophy as quick as possible. So there you go, four turns, do that. And to speed it up, I need to improve three tiles. I've built a district and grow to six people. Okay, build the three, improve the three tiles, basically. That's what we need to do. How much is a builder? 200, next turn. Perfect. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Improve free tiles, which will sort us out financially. 
yeah, then we'll, we'll be good. We'll be speeding through towards political philosophy. I think the one for political philosophy is meet a city-state, and there is none, so that is not an area we can necessarily improve. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I'm going to have to be cutting them a bit short for the next few weeks, for because, yeah, like I said, I've just dealt with so many crashes that I've already lost two days just to crashes. So, yeah, thank you for watching. There is going to be two other Let's Plays starting. One will be a Paradox game, probably... I'd be fairly certain to say EU4, but I'm not 100% certain. Um, and one will be something else. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.